Don't you just hate it when this happens? Zombie comes all knocking on your door, and then eventually, he breaks it down! Which, I, I don't like. Hey, stop hurting my villagers! Before we get started in today's video, big thank you to those of you who are YouTube members. You click the join button and learn more, and you directly support the channel. You guys rock. Thank you so, 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 so much for being members. So here we are inside of Minecraft, and I have a crazy setup of a whole bunch of different doors that will fix this problem. Zombie-proof doors are pretty cool because it's really nice to not have to deal with all these zombies breaking down your door. Zombies have a 10% chance of being able to actually break a door. So if you just see a zombie and he comes up knocking on your door, there's a chance that he won't actually break it down. Also, hard mode will uh, increase this, but I have gone ahead and made some command blocks that have a 100% chance of breaking doors whenever they summon in a zombie. So all of these zombies should be able to break down a door. Now, we've shown this one off. This is the failure. It's got an F for fa failure. This one obviously is what we are trying to fix. So we're gonna block that up so the zombies will not notice that they can't use one of the other doors and then go for that one. So the first zombie proof door that I have is actually a iron door and iron doors in Java edition that is will stop zombies from breaking them down but I really can't use this as a tip because in the bedrock edition of the game iron doors have a 1% chance of being able to be broken down so iron doors not really super useful so we're gonna go to our next zombie proof door and this zombie proof door almost seems impossible it's not like one of these other ones that have like crazy builds or extra little things uh sir sir that that one's not for you yet don't ignore that door at the moment we're we haven't we haven't gotten to that one yet this door though is wooden the zombies will walk right up to it as if they are going to break it and they will kind of just stand there he's dumbfounded by this door what is this is this some type of like petrified door Do you use some weird crafty recipe do i have to use commands in order to get it no this is probably the simplest and best door in the whole lineup although it may drive a few of you batty. The way to get this door, and let me just move this zombie out of the way, is that this door is actually naturally this door. So instead of taking a door and placing it down in a closed position, and then you open it and you know walk through it or whatever, you actually place it down in a closed position facing in another direction. So then you just open the door and the zombies artificial intelligence AI does not have the capabilities of realizing that this is an open door, not a closed door, and it cannot break the door in this state. Now, this is something that I could easily see being updated in future games. And so if you don't want this bug, basically, to be what you rely on in order to keep zombies out of your house, then we're gonna show you a whole bunch of other designs. In order to decide which way this door faces, basically it's going to be placed, just like when you place it on a block, it places it on the front of that block. So if you want the door handle to be one direction versus another direction, or on one side where some, some people like this look of the door being inset just a bit versus the other. You can pull off all of those different looks with the open closed door technique. Everything will work out just fine. Now we're gonna block this up so zombies don't aim for it. The next door is a little bit complicated. It requires an extra little bit of building. It does not automatically reset. This, uh, we went from the best door design basically to the worst door design, but I think that it's rather clever. And I think that a few of you may want to pull this off because it's kind of like a gotcha to the zombie. So here, when the zombie, what? Get back to work! Like I was saying, here when the zombie breaks the door, the sand that is on top of it will actually fall and trap the zombie. And or sometimes if the sand is fast enough, the zombie will be on the outside and not be able to get in. Some requirements for this door though, is you need to have a roof. You need to have a two block space to live in 
and so the roof needs to be on the third block it needs to either be on the outside or on the inside and here i had both because sometimes the falling sand is a little bit finicky and it traps the zombie instead of just falling directly in front of the zombie once again this can be done with really any gravity affecting block so this could be done with all of the different types of concrete powder red sand the gravel all that sort of stuff you can also if you want to be really mean use an anvil and hopefully it will squish the zombie just a bit as we saw this is not a foolproof method so it's kind of the worst design out of all the designs block this up so the zombies don't aim for it next we have a very very simple i'm gonna block this one up because a lot of times they go for that very very simple thing which is just to use a fence gate instead of a door zombies do not recognize fence gates as something that they can break so they basically just ignore it so this zombie right here even though he may he may not be latched onto a villager at the moment but even if he was yeah there he is he's latched on but he knows he cannot pathfind to it because this fence gate is in the way fence gates have a downside in that they do not stop things from seeing through or even sort of reaching through so if you had this instead of a door you may have an issue with skeletons or if you're standing next to it and a creeper comes around the corner they'll see you where a door completely blocks the view and completely stops any arrows or anything coming through so fence gates may be an option for you depending on your build and they also are not nearly as aesthetically pleasing so you may not want to use a fence gate in your build but there it is that's one zombie proof door next this one is super interesting to me this uses a technique of just having blocks down in front of the door that have been removed and what happens is the zombie can only break the top of the door so the zombie actually has to be on the same level as the villager in order to break the door so in this method what you'll see is that the zombie will jump up and down to get up to the top of the door he'll even sometimes reach and so you'll see the door start to break but it won't actually fully break because the animation resets so you can see here every once in a while hopefully he doesn't get too distracted you may see the door start to break you can definitely hear the sound of the door breaking but the door will actually not break which is great this technique uses three blocks removed from the front but you can also do a sort of different variation which only removes a single block if you inset the door so normally the door is actually sitting on the block that we've removed and in this scenario we've just pushed it back one it's actually not flush on the other side you can see that it has some space on the other side maybe your build will look good in this way so you might want to keep that in mind as another option basically as long as there is a block missing from the front then this is doable another advantage of this is that villagers can still use the door if these villagers actually had artificial intelligence here we'll just go ahead and destroy that and it will pop down a few villagers and maybe some of them will open the door and go through they can do that see so you just saw that villager do that it is possible for the villagers to notice that door and walk through it which is a huge advantage to this door design this method is only possible in a 1.15 but most of you guys are playing in the updated version anyway and that is to put a half slab directly in front of the door this can be traversed by players because you can crouch underneath this half slab open the door walk through on the other side and whatnot the disadvantage is that the villagers will not be able to pass through this door but possibly that's an advantage like maybe you want to keep your villagers inside i've seen this used on my personal server which you can gain access because if you become a member so that's pretty cool but people use this during villager like trading halls and that sort of stuff to easily allow players to move from one area to another but to make sure that villagers cannot and then there's another method which is to do that just without a door since the door is a little bit redundant although this has a disadvantage that anything that's a baby or one tall like baby zombies they can fit through this you have the same disadvantage as the fence gate that things can see you through it so you may be shot with arrows through it also creepers might explode next to it if they can see you so that is a disadvantage I just kind of want to point this out that you can use it without a door 
And if you were, say, keeping villagers from one room to another, you could do that as well, which is nice. Our last and final door. I love this one because it uses a really, really old technique to keep the zombies out. I cannot believe that this has not been patched in some way. I remember covering this years and years and years and years ago, but this uses a technique of carpets and a hole. For some reason, zombies ignore the carpets. So they think that the carpet is not there. And if this hole is greater than four blocks deep, I actually made it uh, a few more blocks deep, but uh, I guess you need to use five carpets in order to make a four block tall thing. Anyway, one, two, three, four. Uh, zombies will not try to damage themselves getting from one spot to another. And if zombies fall more than four blocks, then they will take some damage. So their AI will stop them from walking over this hole. So if you fill it with carpets, a block or thing or layer that they ignore, then they still think that this is a hole and they will not aim for this door. This is just a normal door. In fact, I could break the door and leave it open and this zombie will still not try he's kind of focused on a different one but these zombies will not try to walk through this hole because they don't see it as a possible path for them to take so using a deep sort of chasm you could do this over a big area if you wanted i know some people that make trenches around their bases that are four blocks uh deep and then that stops all skeletons creepers and zombies from coming across sometimes spiders don't mind anything that will also like ignore fall damage can't think of anything off the top of my head so i've seen this technique used in other places and it is a really fun one because it's it's very unintuitive but there we go that is a ton of different zombie proof doors thank you so 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 much for watching this episode of omg craft i hope that you found this tutorial useful to you if you did please give this video a big old thumbs up also make sure you subscribe for future videos tips tricks tutorials and spotlights here on omg craft and we'll see you in the next video bye